Hi, Eddie. How are you? Hi, hey, Eddie. How's Dwayne, it going? Doing good. Dwayne wants to get a picture of you. Very sweaty. Yeah, I'm with you, Very buddy. Sweaty. I was fan and Joanne. Us too. So, congratulations on making it to the finals. Uh, pretty close to the finals. Thank you. Yeah, that was yeah. not really what anybody was expecting, but it happened, right? Hey, good the for cool you. The Cool Kids Alliance, and you get slammed from the beginning, and then you end up that close. That's like the worst possible way to start Survivor, you know what I mean? I don't even know how that happened. Like, oh, Come on, you don't know how it happened. You constructed it. Uh, I don't think I really constructed it. Once that, once I rewatched it, I was like, oh my God, why do I say and do these things? You know what I mean? And at first it was fun to laugh at it, and I was like, why am I such an idiot, you know? And th from then on out, it was me and Reynolds against the world, and yeah. that was going to be the case we knew it the whole way through. You're a young man. Pretty girls would do that to you. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, that's kind of to a fault because I know you're playing a game for a million dollars, but you're stuck on a beach with like some of the most beautiful girls I've ever seen in my life. Like, right. how am I not supposed to look around? You know what I mean? <laughs> so let's let's wind it back. How were you chosen to be on the show? Uh, I had applied for the show like a whole bunch of times, and I kept trying to get on, trying to get on, trying to get on. You're saying you were not recruited? No, I was not recruited. I was trying to get on, trying to get on, trying to get on. And then I kind of knew a few people that were on The Amazing Race. So I think they might have pushed maybe pushed the application through the door, and I did the rest from there. But, I mean, it's just impossible. It's so hard to get on the show. I applied at least five or six times. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. What did you do to prepare once you found out you finally got on? Um, I was doing... A lot, a lot of working out, trying to get as ready as I could. I was doing like Sudoku puzzles because I knew that was going to be definitely one of my downfalls there. And um, when you play with people like Cochrane, you know what I mean, who's actually a, a, a hyper intelligent individual, he kind of, he kind of like makes you a little bit nervous about, hey, if we do a puzzle, he's going to be like spot on right away, you know. So that was, I knew that was going to be tricky for me from the beginning, and it proved to be, obviously, this time, too. Okay. Was there anything you wish had been shown about you that didn't get aired? Uh, they did not. My job was to be, like, the fun, dumb guy. You know what I mean? That was my edit. That's what I was supposed to be, and I think I did an awesome job of that. Um, you nailed it. I did nail it. They don't. I was a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more thinking strategy-wise than it was shown. Um, I had a great thing going with Eric for a little bit that was never shown. Obviously, uh, me and Andrea were, were getting close. Uh, the extent of that relationship was never played out either. And then Three Amigos was kind of one solid voting block, so I didn't have to do too much there. But I was definitely playing a little bit harder than, than people wanted that people saw. So I, I don't know how you did it, but you maintained such an awesome, positive outlook while you were out there. That was so refreshing about you. Yeah, I mean, literally I try to wake up every day like it's a new day, and, and it really is when you're out there. Every day something different could change, and that's like the perfect example. I woke up happy and willing to play every single day, and it kind of benefited me. Uh, all I had to do was try to deflect votes, and that's pretty much what I did the best that I could. Just try to deflect and get it off of me. So what was it like to share that experience with your family? Oh, that was absolutely incredible. My parents don't really get out and go anywhere much. So them, like, alone being in the Philippines, coming to see me mm -hmm. on this desolate island is just so absolutely crazy. And what's very surreal is when you're out there, I, I haven't lived at home for, like, the last five years, so... At my apartment, I don't think about what my parents are really doing. You know what I mean? It's never like a concern to me as to what what's going on over there. And I talk to my parents all the time. Literally, you think about your friends, your family, and food the entire time that you're on the island. So when they were actually out there, it was just this moment of extreme joy to see them, you know, out there after. What's next for you, Eddie? Uh, we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna have a great summer. I'm really excited for summer, and uh, you know, just working my ass off, keep working, and then we'll see what happens down the road. Great, thank you. Congratulations. It was awesome getting to watch you.